here are some photos of the food I ate during my 10-day trip to Crete, the largest island in Greece. According to Chef Nikki Rose, Mediterranean cuisine is not just a diet, but a way of life. The Mediterranean diet is one of the healthiest diets in the world. It's mostly made up of fresh fruits and vegetables, lots of herbs, and not to mention olive oil. My name is Karina and I'm a registered dietitian. Today I'm going to teach you how to make traditional Cretan food. So let's start with the fresh, first recipe. We're going to make stuffed vegetables. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The ingredients you'll need include tomatoes, bell peppers, zucchini, potatoes, parsley, uncooked rice, tomato paste, and olive oil. So what you want to do is cut off the top of the vegetable. We're going to hollow it out just by using the knife. Use a large mixing bowl to scoop out the insides of the vegetables with a spoon. Reserve the pulp for stuffing. To make the sauce, you will need about one to two tablespoons of tomato paste, one onion, and also chopped parsley. Add all of the ingredients in the bowl into a blender plus one cup of water. Blend for about two minutes. Now you will add one cup of uncooked rice to the mixture. Stir until it's well mixed. Add salt into the vegetables and continue stuffing until you are done. Before putting the vegetables into the oven, you'll add lots of olive oil. The Greeks don't have any measurement for this ingredient. The more, the better. Place the vegetables into the oven and cook for one hour. I have my friend Sade here who's going to help me make a Cretan salad. And so this recipe, um, fresh ingredients as well. We're going to be using red onion, tomatoes, and cucumbers. You can use the big ones if you'd like, but I like these little ones. Um, and so we're going to chop it all up, add it into this bowl, and of course we can't forget the olive oil. So let's start out with chopping the vegetables. One of the most important things I learned while visiting Crete is that buying fruits and vegetables that are in season really make a great difference. I feel lucky to live in California because I have access to a lot of produce, but choosing fruits and vegetables that are based on their season are, um, is going to give you the best nutrients. After adding in all of the vegetables into the bowl, mix the salad well. One thing I learned from Chef Demetrius is you should feel the nature with your hands. I love this saying because it really exemplifies how the Greek culture differs from the American culture. Greeks see food as a way of life, whereas Americans see cooking and food as uh, very time consuming. Now we're going to add olive oil and the great thing about olive oil and it's such a huge staple in Crete. Um, is that this type of oil has a lot of benefits. It's um, antioxidant, it has vitamin E, and so it's a good fat for the body. So that's why the people from Crete don't consider olive oil or any oil to be good or bad fat because in their eyes, olive oil is the best for them. So we're just gonna put um, a good amount in here. Add some oregano to the salad, and you can also add other ingredients like capers or even hard boiled eggs. There are many variations to this Cretan salad. Now we'll add feta cheese, either crumbled or fresh. The next recipe we're gonna make is tzatziki. This is a really great yogurt dip that you can have with um, bread or even putting it on um, meat or anything that you would like. 
but I love this because it's very fresh and tasty, very simple ingredients too. So the first thing we have here is Greek yogurt, plain natural yogurt. Um, what we're gonna add are one clove of garlic. We're also gonna grate in the cucumbers. And then we're gonna chop some up and add it on top. And of course, we're gonna be using olive oil. So you can add more than one tablespoon if you'd like, um, however creamy you want it to get. Our next recipe is cheese pies. And so what I have here is already um, pre-made puff pastry. You can make your own if you'd like to. Um, I just find this to be easier. And we're gonna fill these with ricotta cheese. Typically in Crete, we used Mazithra cheese. If you can find that at an international grocery store, that would be the best. But this is what I had at the near Safeway. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna chop some mint in there. And mint is a really popular herb that's used for teas, it's used for salads, or even um, these cheese pies. Flour your surface area and the rolling pin, and use the rolling pin to press down on the pastry. Make it as thin as you can. And then every once in a while, you'll wanna rotate it and then you can sprinkle some more flour underneath if necessary. Cut the dough into strips. Once you are done, add chopped fresh mint into the ricotta cheese. Mix evenly and then add about one spoonful of the cheese onto the dough. Then fold and form your cheese pies. And lastly, I'm just gonna add some olive oil onto the top of these cheese pies. And one thing that Sade just mentioned was, um, you put olive oil in everything. Yes, exactly. That's what the Korean people do. And the reason is because it's so available to them. There's over 4,000 olive trees on the island of Crete. And so this is one of the healthiest um, oils that you can cook with and it's going to give the food a really good flavor. Place all of your cheese pies in a non-stick baking pan and bake at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once the pies are done baking you can drizzle honey on top of them and serve them with a side of fresh fruit. I hope you've enjoyed these recipes and hopefully you can find a way to incorporate the Mediterranean diet into your everyday lifestyle. Yamas, which means health to us all in Greek.